messy business. Have they taken him away? Yeah, you know, just now. Complications when a man dies like that. Questions, questions. Well, here's to you, killer. Cut it out. Why didn't you put that gun to his head? Didn't you pull the trigger? I saved this company five million hard-earned dollars. Doesn't the fact that the man shot himself prove anything to you? He was a weakling. That's why I couldn't help him without security. I can't drink your liquor. It chokes me. Everything about you chokes me. Why did you pull him down, Hoss? Why do you pull down everyone who gives you a hand? Don't be a fool. How much respect do you think I have for myself? Watching you at work and letting you get away with it while I share in the profits? You ought to realize that, though. That's my department. Well, let me tell you something. I don't like the people in your department. I don't like what they do. I don't like what they do to me, so I'm getting out. Vic! I need you. You don't need anyone. You're the only friend I have. And I hate your insides. I had good reason to break with you, Hoss. But it wasn't only the McDonald affair that kept me away so long. Vic, this must be very embarrassing for Mallory. Dance with me, Mallory. Excuse me. Andy, you've gone very far. You've been very clever. No cleverer than most men. But every time I saw something I wanted, I did say to myself, this I must have. Yes, I underestimated you, Bendy. You know, that's the first tactical error I'd ever made. I'm sorry it had to happen. Well, I'm sorry, too. Shall we change places again? Are you a Bible reading man? Oh, when do I get time to read anything? Thou greatly despised. Pride of thy heart has deceived you. You whose habitation is high, who sits in his heart, who shall bring thee down to the ground. Will you exalt yourself as the eagle, set your nest among the stars. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Good night. But I don't want you to say good night. I want you to stay. But you'll be going away. Be sailing in a few minutes. Only if I choose. Nobody says to me, do this, do that. A very nice position to be in. I suppose that's what you worked so hard for. Please don't talk away from the point. I said I wanted you to stay. Sorry. Listen to me. I want you to understand what's been growing in my mind ever since the first time I saw you tonight. I love you. You've got to believe that. I love you. Please don't talk. Nothing that can ever happen will add to what I know now. I've been waiting for you, Mallory. I've waited ever since I was a boy. I've allowed myself only one dream. I didn't know what your name was in the dream, but it was you. If you'll believe that, Mallory, we'll have a life ahead of us that's beyond dreaming. I think you do love me. I think you do. Say it, Mallory, and come away with me. Mallory, it's time we left here. Most of the other guests have gone. Stop interfering. This is none of your business. Don't be a fool. This is my business. That makes it unpleasant, but it doesn't change things for me. I know. It never did. Your baggage is ready, Mr. Bendy. And a few papers you wanted. I'll go out in the small launch. Open the library safe, and I'll be there in five minutes. We haven't much time, Mallory. All right, then. You see, I won't be with you. No. I don't see anything. Let's go. Charles, that way. I know. We're going to the pier. Why? I want to see him again. I want you to see him again. 
we've seen him. We've looked at him for hours. That's enough. Dick, I don't know what you're afraid of. I'm afraid of losing you. And don't tell me I never had you to lose. I had. And he's not going to spoil it for me. Mr. Lambden and the young lady are on the pier. Everything he touches, he takes the life out of it and leaves it to a rot. And it's not an obsession with him, he's made like that. But he won't see me. We'll hide if you like. What do you want to do? Gape at him? Ask for his autograph? Vic, like you're being difficult. And you're building a wall between us. Don't you understand that? Listen, let's go back to the car and get out of here. No. Mallory. Vic, dear, no, I can't because you're so afraid. I've got to show you that you're wrong. He has no real hold on me any more than he has on you. And if I'm right? You shouldn't want to keep me back. I knew I was mistaken. I thought this is the way you'd go. Just as you are. Don't make any plans, Hoss. We came down to see you off, that's all. I asked you to stop interfering. You asked me to do a lot of things. For one thing, to forgive you. What did you think that would do? Change your nature? Get off this pier and off my property. You're in the way. Everything fits. Your whole pattern, your approach, the way you dislike people, the way you trample on them and justify the rottenness things a man can do. Because you're not merely a man, not in your sick brain. You're much, much more than a man. Isn't that what you believed ever since we were boys? Yes. Don't try to impress Mallory. She has a mind of her own. Who has a mind of their own when a vending wants to make use of it? No, you haven't changed. The vendings in this world never change. That's what makes them vendings. They take, that's their nature. Now you want something you once threw away, then you'll have everything. You poor failure. You always had the mark of failure on you. It's branded on you, the way you give in. Oh, the ideas you had, the ideals. What do you know about the things I think about their importance? Now listen to him, Mallory. This is vending. I tried to teach you things, but they frightened you. Nothing that's frightened can live in a jungle, and that's where we live. That's real. That was well put, Kenny. We do live in a jungle. But it's not a place where the weak inherit the earth. Of course, there's this to remember. Animals care only for food or love. You and I, Vendix, spoil even the jungle. Because we kill for profit. For the taste of victory. For revenge. Huh. And then... <laughs> Then we destroy each other, Archer! He wasn't a man. He was a way of life. 